Yo guys, what's good? What's going on? It's been a little while. So as you saw in the video, I've got a few little upgrades. Uh, I switched over to the uh, i9 10900K and I upgraded my cooler from the regular H115i Pro to the uh, H115i Pro XT, which basically uses a better uh, water block and radiator. Supposedly it's a lot quieter too and uh, it runs better. It runs cooler actually. They, in reviews, they basically compared it to a 360mm uh, radiator, so it's kind of nice. And so still on the 2080 Ti, and then of course I got the Z490 motherboard. It's the MI, uh, MSI Ace uh, motherboard, mag base, <clears throat> and still a uh, 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM. So I'm going to show you the benchmark scores of the i9 10900K. So let me just pull up my screenshots. So 3D Mark, um, Fire Strike, 30,133. And the CPU overclocks just perfectly to 5.3 gigahertz. It wasn't hard at all, only 1.35 voltage. Uh, temps under load were around, I think they got up to like a max, like a full load. It was like as high as maybe, I think it was 80 C, which, um, you know, is high. But then again, for that voltage and clock speed, it's expected. And then the video card had overclocked uh, to a uh, pretty decent uh, amount there. Okay, Port Royal 9977. Again, 5.3 gigahertz GPU still at same clock speed. So, pretty pretty decent score. And then Time Spy, a nice CPU score of 13,749, and final score 13,762. And CPU, of course, at 5.3 gigahertz. And then I want to talk about the temperatures. Um, <clears throat> they're actually not that bad. Okay, well, I'll get there in a second. So, this is Synbench. Also at 5.3 gigahertz, I got a score of 6,736. Okay, so idle temperatures were really good. Just took this recently, this screenshot, and it's uh, in the 20s to 21C. Very good. Then load, this is just at stock. It was around the 60s, and sometimes it'll get up to 65 when you put it, you know, at a full load. So I just want to mention that uh, the temperatures actually aren't as bad as many people originally thought. Like, I thought this thing was going to be on fire, like... Literally like a pre scott 3.0, if you will. And it's really not that bad. And I know the cooler also helps that I'm using now. Um, but uh, it's really not that bad. Overclock uh, at 5.3 gigahertz to full load under a full, you know, 100% load. All all 10 cores plus the 10 hyperthreading cores. Uh, I think it got up to 86C. Which, that will get wrong, is high, is high. But, you know, not as bad as many people thought. So... Overall, very happy with it. Um, it wasn't really much of an upgrade from the i9 9900K, but uh, I just wanted to tinker with something different and uh, use the latest and greatest. And then, of course, when NVIDIA releases the uh, RTX 30 series, <laughs> you can be sure that that will be the GPU that I have in here. It will be replaced by 2080 Ti. So that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So peace out and see you guys around.